Good morning. Today is Christmas Eve and I'm going to uh, go through our new camper. It's uh, a Class C and I wanted to talk about kind of our, the history we've had with campers and how we ended up with what we got and why and give you a tour and uh, take you guys along with some of the trips that we're taking. I uh, just turned on the heat in here because it's probably about 12 degrees here in uh, Illinois. So um, when my wife and I um, were younger, I'm 45 now. When we were younger, we uh, started out tent camping when we were dating and we loved it. We had it all set up so that we could just, you know, load these Tupperware bins and we would go tent camping almost every weekend. And we were going so often, it was like, yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt to set up the tent, you know, load up all the stuff, load up all these Tupperware bins. And we thought if we got a pop-up camper, that would be cool because we could leave stuff in there. Uh, all the Tupperware stuff could just stay in there instead of the, the trunk of my uh, car that I had at the time. And um, so we bought a pop-up camper and we loved it. We went pop-up camping still almost every weekend during the warmer months. And then um, that became kind of a pain in the butt, cranking it up. We didn't have an electric crank and, and then loading up the food every time and popping it up and, 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 uh, and then uh, you know taking it all down. It was a long kind of laborious process. So um, we had that for about two years and then we sold that and we bought our first travel trailer. Or yeah, it was a travel trailer. It was a, a Jayco, it was a small one. Um, and it was a hybrid, so on each side of it, um, there were canvas tents that would pop out. And we liked that. Now that was even easier because we would just get somewhere and all we'd have to do is pop out one side and then um, we were good to go. We were still camping all the time. And in bad weather, those, those um, pop outs uh, with the canvas sides, they would get wet and you'd have to come home, open it up, dry it out. We were doing that, we were camping in any kind of weather and it was kind of a pain in the butt and, and, and we kind of outgrew that. We had two dogs and so we bought a bigger travel trailer and this one was I think 26 feet now. Um, and we really enjoyed that for about three or four years. Um, and, and Or maybe even longer, maybe close to five years we had that. Um, and then uh, now we decided um, we wanted something that we could drive because um, we have two kids now and the two kids were, we didn't drive the Jayco that much because it was so long and we, we bought a, a privately owned campground uh, spot um, and, and also put a, a park model on it. So we have like a, a, a cabin on that too. And we kept the Jayco because we wanted the option to go to national parks and drive around and things like that. But it was so big that it was just, it, it, it was a pain in the butt to maneuver it. So um, we weren't taking the trips we wanted to take. Um, and that's what led us to this Class C. Um, that's 24 feet. This is a, a, a Thor Chateau 22B. Um, and we can get this almost anywhere. Uh, we've rented Class C's before that were around the side size and we can maneuver them we can park on city streets and if the spot's big enough in parking lots we can back into a spot and hang over the curb or onto a grassy area a little bit um, it, it's super easy to drive uh, it backs up like a car um, it's got rear view uh, cameras everything like that and i'll go into that as well so um that's that's where we ended up that's a just a very quick explanation of how we ended up with this camper um, and I'll give you a tour here and, and uh, talk about it a little bit and tell you about what we like about it and uh, we'll go from there. So this is the 22B Chateau. It's got an E350 Ford engine. It's a 10 cylinder. It's got a automatic awning and underneath the black top of the awning there it's got a uh, LED light. It's kind of a blue light. It's pretty cool looking. Um, 
you have some storage here. It's probably about two feet deep. You have two uh, sockets here. Plug in. This is the back of the refrigerator. Uh, where there's access and then here's your furnace exhaust there. Around the back you have your uh, bumper which is also your um, storage for your uh, your drain tube for emptying the black and gray tanks. You got a, a hitch that um, you can tow a toad with or you know pull along a car or whatever you want a bike rack. Nice ladder that goes up so you can access the uh, the roof. And then here you have a, a slide out that's for the bedroom. And in here you have more storage. Right now we just have some camping chairs, some fishing poles or Stabilizer blocks, the hose for the fresh water, tackle box, and this is where we'll probably put, um, you know, luggage and stuff. So it's not sitting around inside the camper as we're driving. There's the gas tank, outdoor shower. Uh, that's kind of nice. So when you're done flushing out your um, black water and gray water tank you can rinse stuff off fresh water connection uh, for the potable water city water connection got your TV uh, cable TV hookup if your campground has that in here uh, is the generator it's locked again let me open it it's an Onan QG4000. See the information on it there. It's not super quiet, I'll tell you that. Um, but um, unless you're parking in a residential area, and I guess that doesn't really matter. Um, if you're in a campground and you're not right next to someone, uh, that doesn't matter. But if you're right next to someone, you want to be considerate and maybe not run the thing right next to someone. And then in here we have all right. And here we have our uh, propane system where uh, you you fill it and and uh, you can turn off the valve and service it here. And then here, of course, um, like standard on and all. You know, uh, RVs and travel trailers and stuff, you have your hot water heater. And I have to turn this off because my fingers aren't working. All right, back inside. It is brutally cold. Um, so I got the heat crank in here. So here's above the driver's bunk, or driver's seat, and the passenger seat. You got a bunk. Um, and this piece, this here comes. It lifts up and you can put it back there and then the ladder stows on top of that. You have a window there behind the pillows. You have a fan there and then you have a TV here that um, is on an arm and it swings. Um, swings out so that um, once it's out like this you can you can watch the TV from here. Um, if you're laying up here, uh, with I've done it with the kids, they can uh, lay there and watch at this angle. So you could have two people up there, kids, you know, watching, and then two people here watching. So four people can really kind of watch there. Um, comes with this curtain here that goes around the front windshield and the side windshield to give you privacy. Um, and I'll take that down in a, little, in a little bit here and show you what the, the cab looks like there. There was no good place to put remotes. So at Target, I bought this little back of the chair organizer for kids, and I just throw the remotes in there. Fire extinguisher here. Here you have all your readouts to check. You know, here's to start your generator, your generator hours, your gas, how much gas you have, your battery uh, charge, 
the fresh water tank, um, black water, and gray water. Um, and then here's your tank heaters. It comes with tank heaters for black and gray, which is really nice since we live in a colder climate here. Your water pump, your LP gas uh, heater, and your electric gas heater. So you can put those both on and get a little quicker recharge of your of your uh, water heat. Um, the, the bed here, these cushions go across and the table drops down uh, so you can make an extra bed. It's a decent sized bed, uh, one adult or two kids. Um, there are speakers under here um, that run through to the TV and up here you have two USB charging ports. Um, up here we have storage. Um, I have reflectix that I cut out uh, for the front two front windshield the windows side windows and the front windshield uh, to keep cold out and for privacy if I don't want to put up the curtain um, but this is where we keep some you know cleaning supplies um, some a broom a headlight games uh, for the kids and stuff are in there um, and it's you know we're not fully packed in here um, so it's there's still more room in there in here um, this wit this uh, mirror here has a nice big storage space with hangers that's kind of cool because the bedroom back here um, you come through and this opens from here and you have a, a you know a pass through here uh, so you can access it from either side so if someone was sleeping and you wanted to get your bag out or some clothes out, you can get it out uh, through here. It's cup holders built into the table. It's kind of nice because the kids can put a jar in there with their pencils and coloring stuff, which they like to use uh, while we're driving. Uh, to make the kitchen area a little bit bigger, this, this folds up so you have a little more prep room for food. Um, underneath here you have more lights. You have more storage above the sink. Underneath the sink you have some storage. This little area uh, just opens that, that far. Uh, you put a sponge and the soap in there. And you have, uh, this opens just a little bit again um, because of the hardware for the piping for the sink underneath. And then down here these open more fully. You have a microwave with some storage above. I put the bathroom towels in here, but you, you can get a convection microwave. Uh, this one isn't, but you can get one. And then uh, it makes up for the fact that ours doesn't have an oven. The ovens are small and we didn't use ours very much in our last one. Um, so we have the storage instead, which is kind of nice. It's a lot of storage here uh, where the, the oven would have taken up. And then um, you have a three burner stove, uh, it's prep, you can use it for prep when you're not using it and then when you're ready to use it it folds up and you have a three burner stove. The stove works by um, turning this on and then uh, turning that switch to, to pop it, to spark it. There's your heater, that's the only heater in, oh that feels good. That's the only only heater uh, in here, but since it is small, uh, it really does the, the job. This room gets nice and toasty warm, um, and above the bunk gets warm just from that small heater. Here's the fridge, nice size fridge, um, and your freezer. You do have another fan right above us here uh, for cooking, uh, if you're making bacon it starts to smoke in here a little bit, you can use that. And here's the bathroom. It's got a nice little sink, a uh, medicine chest here. You can put, you know, your shampoos, your toothbrush, things like that. We haven't really organized it very well yet, but and you've got your shower, which is a decent sized shower. Um, it's, it's pretty comfortable. I can stand in it um, without 
you know, worrying about hitting my head, um, anything like that. And then the toilet um, is, of course, uh, you know, you got the pedal, push it down a little bit to fill it with water, uh, then you do your business, and then you press it all the way to flush it. Here you do have some more storage. In here, it's we'll, we'll store you know breads, soups, things like that, stuff that we need to help for cooking. And then, kind of the master bedroom storage underneath uh, above the beds, uh, pretty decent sized storage. Put a lot of stuff in there. And you got three windows. One here, here, and here. And then another TV. You also have a fan. And then here we have um, the slide out control light. And this is your main furnace area. Um, you know, thermostat. And then for the summer, there's your air conditioning unit. And uh, we, t we tested it out, um, and it blows pretty hard on, a, on the, the high setting. Um, we also have down here, under the, the, the table, a CO2, or a, you know, a smoke detector and carbon monoxide detector, as well as an outlet plug. So, that's about it. I mean, it's, it's small, which is exactly what we wanted. It's easy to maneuver. Um, that's about it for the inside here of the living area. And I'll take down the curtain there and then show you um, the driver's area. So here's the driver's area. Um, it hit, this is the um, kind of the smart display. Uh, it's got Bluetooth, so you can attach it to your phone. Um, it's got your reverse lights, uh, or camera. Also has your uh, side cameras. So when you, on both sides, when you go to turn, um, you can turn on the turn signal, and it'll it'll show you um, what's on the sides of you. And I'll see if it'll work while I'm parked in the driveway here. Turn it on. And this can, you can play the music through here, uh, through the speakers in the living area of the RV as well. So if you want to look at the backup camera, rear camera here, it'll show you what's behind you there. And then, um, say I was going to, I was turning, just turned on the right turn signal, it shows you my vehicle. Uh, out of the side there. If I look on turn on the left turn signal, it shows you what's on the other side, which is really cool. You also have an HDMI connection here, which plugs into your phone so that you can sync your phone with this and it'll mirror the screen. You have a USB charger here, and um, here you have uh, your rear view mirror heater. And other than that, it's pretty pretty standard here um, in terms of, of, uh, of the cab. And back up so you can see what it looks like from the distance. If you're sitting here, the rear view mirror there, um, you can see it's kind of nice when I'm driving. I can look through the rear view mirror and I can keep track of the kids, uh, what they're doing uh, sitting here at the table. Um, the one thing about this table is the seat belts uh, in some states require seat belts, and most of them require seat belts for kids under the age of like I don't know, 12 or so. Um, but the seat belts are only on this side of the table. There are no seat belts on this side. So um, when I'm driving, I can always I always have the kids have their seat belts on unless they're doing a quick bathroom break or something like that. Uh, one last thing I forgot to mention is you do have another storage area here underneath this uh, bench seating and we just have some blankets in there. When I'm not 
um, it, since it's so cold here uh, in, in Illinois, um, I don't run the propane all the time, but since I have toothpaste and some uh, shampoo and stuff, I have a little space heater here, and I, um, I run that uh, on the low setting, keep the rug away, of course, and it keeps it just from freezing in here solid.